heavyweight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight in Vegas. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Oliveira is one year the elder. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 33 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Charles de Brux Oliveira! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Bokachev. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come out your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. Are you ready? DC, here we go with round one. Of course, few guys in this division can grapple as effectively as he can. But maybe some pause tonight, given the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on the other side. Yes, and he may use his grappling in reverse to stay upright because this Jiu-Jitsu fighter is such a great fighter. He's such a fantastic fighter. He's so skilled. He's so tricky and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it. That standing, he's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And he's out. 
Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Oliver. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oliver is looking for a Darce choke here. There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Oliveira. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. So Charles Oliveira going submission hunting here again, DC. He trained. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. I need four elbows from the top. to the final minute of this championship fight. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop it. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Twenty seconds to go in round one. That hook is landing beautiful. Ten seconds to go. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Round two straight ahead. Highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. All right, next round is underway. We will see if he can pick up where he left off, particularly when it comes to the ground and pound. That was vicious. I mean, it was vicious. It was vicious. It was shades of 
Habib Nurmagomedov yes. versus Michael Johnson. Habib Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor. Just able to get to a great posture, control the feet, and land every single strike with vicious intent. It's hard to do that without losing your opponent. This young man has mastered, he has mastered ground and pound fights. Oh man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another take. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Well, you know I don't like the key, but wow. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been beaten. Now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Way to control the clock. Connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Take down Lance. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Close guard. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top, DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a real good job of being aware. There's danger when you're standing at the top of your opponent like that. You gotta watch for up kicks. Notice how he leads with his hips when he goes to land the strike. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Oliveira. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective. Two minutes now to go round two. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oliveira's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Strike on the ground. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy... Maybe an opportunity to get a choke here. Yeah, he lifts the head and goes on. It looks like he's trying to get a bulldog choke. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Tonight. 
step for step, he stayed with his opponent in every transition. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, nasty ground and pound. Watch the strike. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break And this might it? just be a matter of time. Oh, wow, oh, oh! There's some serious punches from the top here. He's continuing to maintain good posture and making these strikes count. He's doing a really good job of watching pretty up kick, making his punches count while not putting himself in danger. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Posturing up now, and he's out. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. That right eye's looking pretty swollen. We have now crossed the midpoint of this fight. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure. That is it! He got him! <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 36 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Bogachev. So there he is, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world and certainly getting the title defended with style points here tonight. He's your winner by knockout. He's just a great fighter. He does everything the right way, lands a beautiful shot to end the fight, keeps his belt. You can see the big smile as he celebrates with his family and his friends and his coaches. Congratulations to the champion.